Hey guys, Sarah here. Have you ever felt like, man, I don't know. I kind of don't feel like going and I kind of probably should. And there probably won't be anybody there, but maybe there will be. And just in case there is, man, but I don't know. And what a hard thing. And well, I was presented with that today with yoga in my neighborhood. And I'll tell you, it's something that, like I said a few life episodes ago, that um, sometimes it feels forced because I don't like being bad at anything. I like to be good the first time I try. And that's just not the way life works, right? You all probably know that. I have a harder time remembering. And so um, I offered something for my neighborhood just to, to get my voice, to train my voice as a teacher. Um, not charging them anything. It's just an opportunity to build community in my neighborhood, but also offer wellness and um, accountability and friendship and, um, again, wellness. So I put it out there a few months ago just to see what kind of um, response I'd get. And the response was ridiculous at first. Like when I first threw it out there, I must have had like 70, 75 comments um, on Facebook. And I don't really use Facebook too often. So like that was the method I chose because there's like a neighborhood page. I'm sure you have a neighborhood page for your neighborhood as well. Well, it's very helpful to have it, but it also gets filled up very easily with, you know, random things like somebody pooped next to my mailbox and I'm selling this and are you interested or um, whatever, lots of stuff, okay? So my post got lost in the sea of things. And, um, sorry, I was backing up my child's iPad because devastation hit this house this morning tears, uncontrollable tears, because um, she deleted her world in Minecraft. <sighs> I am not tech savvy in the least, but I've been on Google trying to find a way to salvage and restore her Minecraft because heaven help me, it's all I could do to calm her down and get on the bus this morning. Sidebar. So I hope I figured that out. I'll look at it later. So it's really a gift, you know, to have the opportunity to bless people this way, offering something that you want to become sharper at, um, better at, grow in, and also, you know, not charge them anything because they're doing me a favor and we're coming together. It's a good reason to come together. Well, you know, when you don't know if anybody's going to show because again, the post got lost and it was months ago, I got a good, a good response then put out a couple feelers after that, when it was getting close to time I wanted to start after everything was settled and, you know, we got into our routine and then it rained a couple times. So we were pushed back a little bit. I know this isn't interesting to you, but all that to say, today was the first day that it actually worked out. We had good weather, I'm feeling settled, and I think everyone else is there too, having been in school now for a couple months. So it was my first day, and I wasn't sure if anyone was gonna show. I wasn't sure. They said they would, but you know how that goes, right? You know how that goes, where people will say they'll come, and then they'll forget, and that's okay. Life happens. I get it, I get it. Um, I mean, in my family, we are trying to stay committed to what we say we're going to do, but you know, life happens and um, and we forget. I mean, that's just what it happens. So I wasn't gonna be mad, but I also didn't wanna show up necessarily to find nobody come. Like, no, nothing's more devastating than showing up and nobody shows. If one person showed, I was there for them. I would be there for them, 100%, 100%. But there's still a twinge of, darn, darn. But like I would totally go 100% for that person. And you know what, it, it might just be a blessing. And it might be just what that person needed is that one-on-one -on -one attention. And I would have done it. So here's my thing for you, the challenge. Like fight that want, that desire to not show up. Fight that desire to do the, 
easier thing because that easier thing is going to turn into the harder thing. That easier thing is going to make you wish you'd showed. Like, like if you got home after you would have gotten home, had you shown, you'd been like, man, I would have been home and I would have had it done and I would have had it behind me. Why didn't I show? Okay. So one you be you is all about being authentic and being true to you and who you are, despite what people think, despite how people feel, because it's not their life you're living, you're living your life, right? So I'm just being vulnerable in that I struggle with not being able to do everything perfectly. That's a struggle for me. I don't like being bad at stuff. So that's the only reason I didn't want to go this morning. It's not because I don't love yoga and I don't love people because those are two very, very false things. I love both of those things. I love the way yoga makes me feel. I love the way my body um, is toning because of it. And um, just the, con the awareness, sorry, I have flies all over this house, darn kids. Um, just the awareness that's come to my body and what I eat and how I sleep and everything since I started just under three years ago, it makes me happy and I love it. It's my old lady sport. I feel like I can do it forever, you know? Can't be shooting hoops all the days of my life. I mean, maybe I can dabble here and there, but as far as like longevity and consistency, yoga is my jam, okay? So it's not that and it's not people because you know I love people. I show up every day for you because I love you, okay? It's just that I don't like being bad at things. And so it was such a blessing this morning to show up to five ladies in the neighborhood and to do the class with them and to be completely honest with them. Like, listen, ladies, like I appreciate you so much and I'm so thankful you showed up. I came not knowing for sure and you're really helping me in finding my voice and training um, myself and, and the teaching, the consistency, the rep repetition, the, you know, um, I mean, repetition is the greatest teacher, right? Experience, repetition, consistency. And so I was delighted to see even fighting, even forcing, a couple of days ago talked about forcing yourself to show up. I'm glad I did. And if it's nothing more than just showing up because you said you were gonna, then do it. If no one showed up, it's fine. I had some quiet time, right? But that's not the case. Five people showed and I was delighted by them and delighted by the fact that they came, that we had a great session and that the sun was blaring hot, which is exactly what we needed. And um, I mean, it, you know, God honors commitment. You make a commitment, you follow through on that commitment despite yourself, okay? So that's my encourage, my challenge to you today. Hope it was received well and that you'll consider it the next time you don't want to show. Show up. Take care.